Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the daily crypto news and yes guys we are still going on with the giveaway but yesterday i just didn't feel like announcing it or giving it away if we did win but today it's all good guys so if you want to enter into the 500 xrp giveaway all you have to do is make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on, and make sure you comment something down below. If you've done that, all we need to hit is a thousand likes and we're giving it away. Is that not simple, guys? 1,000 likes and somebody will earn 500 XRP. I've said it though, so it's up to you guys from here on forward. Make sure you press the like button and let's get on with the video. How Fed has built Cold War over Bitcoin's $20,000 target, at least for now. Bitcoin was going to hit $20,000 by the end of the year on inflation worries. Unfortunately, that now seems very unlikely to happen. Well, as of this point, I would say Bitcoin is not really on course to hit $20,000. However, as you guys know from the 2007-18 moves, 17-18 moves, all can happen and all can change within a month right all can change within two weeks even so right now it's not even september yet we can actually get to a million dollars bitcoin before the end of the year theoretically speaking talking in terms of percentages it's possible like uh, there, there's nothing really stopping it having said that though it is visible in the manner the world's leading crypto related to the federal reserve's new approach to devising u.s monetary monetary policy chair jerome powell surprised the fate Hey, our safe havens bulls Thursday morning by showing a more relaxed stance on inflation. He pledged to keep the rate at an average of 2% over time, but also promised to act if it turns excessive. Bitcoin traders had expected more. A dramatic speech that points to a period of consistently higher inflation rate, but many ignored that the Fed's preferred target of 2% inflation rate always fell short of getting hit. Ever since the U.S. Central Bank launched the policy back in 2012, inflation rose at an average of 1.4% only. That was also the period of the Fed's longest expansion post an economic crisis of 2008, which ultimately failed to raise inflation. And now, even when the U.S. Central Bank is ready to tolerate higher inflationary pressure, it has now provided a clue about whether or not it would continue its asset purchase program to support the economy. So yeah, guys, basically people expected this inflation to be way higher than what they are planning for it to be or really what 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 what's most likely going to get to. And the point is, at the end of the day, they have a lot more control, right? They have a lot of control and they've also overestimated the inflation for a very long time, which is really positive in a time of necessity, because even though they always kind of go for two, which is the average inflation, really, they, they've only been hitting like like 1.4 basically is what the story says here, which left quite a lot of room, like about 50% uh, increase in inflation to, to come still, right? So yeah, that, I guess they kind of saved themselves here, which is also why some coins like XRP here and, uh, and Bitcoin, at least they will say Bitcoin only, but I'm always saying, you know, if Bitcoin is the gold of crypto, then XRP, the silver and if people are going to get out of their normal goal to go into safe havens, they will ultimately always flock to XRP as well. I've explained to you guys multiple times before. I think people will move over from the traditional assets into Bitcoin. And then once Bitcoin has got enough sort of people into it, people are going to take profit and move their money over into altcoins, which is what we're seeing a little bit afterwards, which is ultimately why all these statements are also positive for XRP and the like. Visa executive says buy Bitcoin as dollar index nears 12.5 thousand Bitcoin trigger. A key bull trigger for Bitcoin re-emerges as even a Visa executive pours scorn on the Fed and also calls on consumers to opt out with Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin is inches away from getting again to their 12.5k spot. On August 28th, the US dollar currency index fresh from losses caused by a speech from the Federal Reserve, returned to crucial low levels. Well, one thing I should say to you guys here straight out of the bat is that there's more and more players getting heavily into crypto right now. Like, even though we've been talking about players getting into crypto for years, it's, it's really getting heavy within the last, like, three months, I should say. I don't know exactly what date to put there. And that is because we've seen a lot of guys move over from traditional banks into fintech companies like, for example, Ripple. But also their stances change, 
where I, I don't have a lot of examples for you guys right now. But if you guys compare a lot of the guys that were into this space, like let's say a year ago and right now, do you guys know how many of these guys put up positive statements within this time period? Well, if you know, perfect because I don't, but I know, for example, right now for XRP, only within the last two months, I believe we got three big players who just entered, or at least who claimed to enter over on Twitter, which is really, really amazing. And also for Bitcoin, we just got the the guy, what's his name? Uh, uh, the Ballster Sports guy, Dave Portnoy. Yeah, we just got him. Even though he might have exited already, like the stance upon Bitcoin has changed from maybe being neutral or nothing to, hey, you know, I'm going to explore this. Or, hey, I'm going to be checking it out. And really, guys, I've been noticing it personally the last you know, time frame uh and, and i just wanted to share that with you guys quote jerome powell's speech today will be far short wait no actually let's, let's see from here the impact of the u.s dollar may be in fact the only meaningful takeaway from a non-event policy shift for bitcoin which many had already expected nonetheless the implications for the rigidity of the fiat economy thanks to the fed were much more severe to the extent even fiat businesses' voices were now plugging Bitcoin. And Jerome Powell's speech today will be for the history books. And he, Senior Director of Public Policy at Visa, tweeted, quote, Never in the history of mankind was so much stolen from so many by so few. Opted out with Bitcoin. Or opt out with Bitcoin, which is just basically what he says you to do. Fed shift, good for hardest assets, gold and Bitcoin. I think they both rise over time in inflation or deflation, he told his Twitter followers, talking about Real Vision CEO Raul Pal. Quote, most people don't understand the latter, but is simply put, Pal has shown that there is a zero tolerance for deflation, so they will do anything to stop it. And that is good for the two hardest assets, gold and Bitcoin. Powell wants inflation. We all understood that already, but it's just good to mention once more. Even before the speech, Bitcoin supporters were eyeing a long-term consequence on the Fed term policy. For Saifedian Amos, author of the popular book, The Bitcoin Standard, it was a question of time will tell for Bitcoin versus fiat. The reduction in the new supply of Bitcoins clearly reduced the new selling onto the market, so probably has helped to keep the prices up or keep it from dropping further. He told the Unchained podcast August 25th, quote, the central bank's quantitative easing and everybody helicopter monetary policy and giving everybody checks seems to have done the same for the stock market. Now, let's wait and see for the long run effects of the two approaches. Gemini CEO reveals what needs to happen for Bitcoin to hit $500,000. Well, I checked this out, right? I checked out here and Tyler Winklevoss and basically what the twins said is that with Bitcoin, Right now, there's there's not that much necessity because there's also gold, right? So a lot of the players who want to hedge, who want some safe haven, they just can opt into gold because it's relatively simple to, to buy into it. It's relatively safe and it's more known, right? It's not as, as weird as cryptocurrency for a lot of people. I can understand that. But that whole situation really changes once gold gets mined a lot more and what i mean with that is gold can also be found in asteroids and things like that is what i've been reading up on and basically once the space programs roll out or once elon musk's space mining program rolls out we're going to be having so much gold in such an abundance that theoretically speaking it should not be worth as much anymore which is also why i'm sometimes thinking about maybe not going heavily into gold and other sorts of watches Maybe you should go for steel ones then because, well, theoretically, theoretically speaking, if the gold becomes obsolete or worthless, then it might not be a timeless piece, right? But again, that might take another 50 years or so. Who knows when they'll be really, really done with their space programs and whether we heavily mining. If they start mining just a teeny weeny bit, it ain't going to change that much. It just takes away from the scarcity, though, but it doesn't take away from the... The, the like the, the, the on-point scarcity. It takes away from the long-term scarcity because while well, the asset is like in abundance it just takes a very long time to mine still which is why it could have a higher price same for like diamonds right there's an infinite amount of diamonds theoretically speaking it's still very expensive though of course it's partially about the quality but it's also because it still takes some time to get your good diamonds you know all right and also there's of course a difference between synthetic and i guess found diamonds but whatever xrp cfd trading now supported by japanese investment giant sbi holding 
Japanese financial giant SBA Holdings to allow XRP trading Bitcoin and Ethereum CFDs. So yeah, I should have said CFDs, not trading, but all right. Japanese internet banking behemoth SBI Holdings to start offering CFD trading for three crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP through its Forex trading subsidiary called SBI FX Trade. The new service will become available on August 31st, but SBI FX Trade is already accepting new account registrations. Those three crypto will be quoted against the US dollar and the Japanese yen, which means that there will be a total of six available trading pairs that come out straight off the bat. I'm really happy to see this, guys. I'm really, really happy to see this. We all know that there's a lot of support from SBI towards XRP, but them listing this coin straight off the bat as well, I think is a very powerful move, very, very beautiful, and also a very smart move from them as it will get a lot of publicity automatically by just doing this. Its customers will be allowed to open a trading position of up to 10 million XRP. The subsidiary also introduced a separate smartphone app for trading crypto CFDs. And yeah. SB Holdings is a longtime partner of XRP affiliated blockchain company Ripple. Together, they found a DOT powered software, SBI Ripple Asia, back in 2016. Back in June, SBI Ripple Asia started trialing Ripple's ODL solution that leverages XRP for cross border payments. And then Adam Back calls XRP losing its Genesis block the biggest fail yet. I, I, I know I covered this yesterday uh, partially. However, First of all, quite a lot of you guys did not make that video for some reason. A lot of you guys did not check it out. And the second part is that even though this is pretty cool, right? Even though it's pretty cool to see him, you know, say something like that in a negative sense. It's like he, he, he calls out XRP once more. It's a cool thing because it's, you know, just the regular. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. It's all stupid. All these guys. It's also just a very, very kind of misunderstood concept. So... I don't want to talk to you guys about how they lost their Genesis block because they just lost it in a crucial bug back at that time. And if you want to know what the Genesis block is, it's basically all the first transactions or the, you know, the, the emerge, everything which, you know, is the start from XRP. It was all lost some way, shape or form. I should give them some credit where it's due and give them some bashings where it's due. The credits where it's due is, you know, it's a very weird thing that it got lost for XRP, must admit. The, the bashings where it's due is, in the end, it doesn't really matter that they lost anything, right? If you think about it, ultimately speaking, it's it's every crypto that has some of their worryings. And in the end, we know where all the XRP is right now. Like, you can just check out what all the accounts have. We know where the billions of XRP are. It's not like it's a secret. So, in the end, what happened to the XRP at the real start, it doesn't really matter that much. It might only matter if you're starting to question whether or not ripple as a company created it or if it was an individual or if it was really the persons who claimed they were because i don't know if that stuff is all registered as well within the first blocks like how the first couple of xrp came out and who got that and who gifted what to what but again after a little while it's all recorded so and also back at that time there were a lot of people there who witnessed it all so unless you see some guy claiming on the internet right now i was there doing the genesis block with the first couple of blocks and i noticed that something was wrong then 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 let's change our views but as of this point i've never heard somebody say yeah they they fought at the whole system that we're here from the start so i'm, I'm kind of neutral on that but guys that was it for today's video hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did make sure you press the like button and subscribe and i would definitely see you guys again in another crypto video take care everybody